Hey guys, how's everyone doing tonight? Uh, super excited to uh, get to stream tonight. I have been, so, for anyone that's been like following me on like Instagram and stuff, let me put my phone away real quick. <clears throat> um, I have recently been getting into dice making. Super fun. Um, but, well not but. Uh, I've been getting into dice making, and for two months I've been working on get, making a uh, a, re a really good set. Excuse me. So, um, basically what we're going to be doing is... Um, I have a set that I have been working on for a minute now. And we're basically going to uh, finish them up and polish them. And uh, this right here is actually my master set. So um, they're polyhedral drives. So typically used for like tabletop games, um, you know, such as you know Dungeons and Dragons stuff like that. So I have been working on uh, finding the right. Um, finding the right font that I want to use, the design. I've watched so many videos on actually like designing and getting the right shape and all that stuff. So these are 100% uh, made by me. Um, and like I said, I obviously, I, I watched a couple videos so I could learn how to, uh, like the right size and all that stuff. But um, I made these, pretty happy with it. Like I said, this is my master set. So what that is is basically that uh, this is the set that I used to make all of my molds, all my dice. Um, it's 3D printed, typically from what I've seen, um, when you go to do this kind of stuff, I think you want to use a resin printer, like a resin 3D printer. Unfortunately, I don't have that uh, right now. but. Um, I made do with what I had. I uh, I three D printed this on my uh, CR ten, and then in order to kind of hide as much of the uh, print lines as I could, I uh, <clears throat> I used um, primer filler to kind of fill it in, sand it a little bit with some fine uh, sandpaper, and then I uh, used like a high gloss high gloss finish a spray on finish to um, in order to kind of like give it a nice shine because typically with like when you make molds whatever the finish is if I if I understand correctly whatever the finish is on the die or whatever you're making a mold of um, that is what uh, that's how the mold will turn out so like if it's a real matte finish it's gonna have a matte finish when you go and um, when you go to fin it, but if it's like more gloss, it should have more of a glossy look. So like, uh, yeah. So right here we have uh, the D four, which is just uh, a literal. It's literally a pyramid. <laughs> um, goes one. Oh well, you can see it. One, two, three, and then literally four. And whatever, how, uh, however you roll it, whatever's on the top. And that's what uh, it is. You have the D6, which is a more traditional die. Uh, literally just a six-sided die, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, from there, you have uh, the D8, the eight-sided die. This one actually gave me a lot of troubles just because I had trouble figuring out the size, what size I wanted. Because at first, they made it too big, then I made it too small, but I found a good medium. Now it's just right. Uh, uh, then I have the D10. 10 sided die, I really like this one. Typically I think they're a little bit fatter, uh, a little stubbier, but I really like the uh, kind of diamond shape of it. Like I said, uh, 10, dice, 10 sided die, uh, and then zero represents uh, 10 instead of zero. And then you have the D100, which is literally a, just a 10, di a 10 sided die, but it's more, uh, it's for, for like percentile, what percentage and stuff like that. So. 10 through 100, same thing. Ba -ba -ba. Where is it? Double zero is 100. Uh, you have your D12, 12 sided dice, pretty self explanatory. 
when I making this one the got a little trickier because you basically when I did it I had to kind of uh, when you rotate it on the file it made it a little bit more difficult to because you have to keep this is basically like a hub from what I was learning um, so I'd have to literally like do one number do the number rotate it do another number rotate it rotate it and then um, go back made it a pain and then this is my d20 exactly what it sounds like it's a 20 sided die this was absolutely the hardest dice I had to make um, because same thing it's just like the d20 except on steroids so this one took me a couple weeks to like figure out because um, like I you know I was watching tutorials but uh, so the tutor tutorials didn't really explain it that well so um, but yeah so with all these dice I basically made my molds um, which I have right here and um, I cast them out of resin. Let's get those all on screen for you. I made these all out of resin, and then um, it took me quite a bit to uh, get a set that I was really happy with. And I will show you exactly what I mean by that because I cannot tell you how many uh, how many sets of dice I made. I made like four or five dice sets. Uh, let me get these out of the way. And, uh, yeah, so this was all the dice I made that I've made in the last couple weeks. Um, literally just a smorgasbord of um, dice, literally. Um, like this was, this one right here was my first attempt. Didn't come out a whole, I did, they didn't come out, they came out fine. Uh, but there were just a couple things that I know I could have improved on. And then, uh, like the biggest one, let's see, I don't know how well you can pick it up. Oh, actually, it wasn't this one. There was one of them that was kind of the, the I think it's right there. The, the one was raised up a little bit, so it made it uneven, kind of unplayable. What are you going to do, you know? And then I made a second set, which I started uh, playing with color a little bit. Same thing, wasn't great. Um, I feel like there was, I feel like there was a lot of issues with this color, with this one, but, uh, you know, uh, every, every time I made a set, they came out better. So, I mean, that's always good. Um, this one was my third set I made. This one I actually was really happy with, but, uh, when I was, when I was polishing this set, I, uh, took my drum a little too hard and it put a huge curve in it. So, unplayable. This... Uh, this one right here was my first, like, good die, a D20, it rolls pretty well, and, uh, super happy with it. The only thing is, um, you can see it, uh, there are a lot of bubbles, so it just, it looks really weird. It kind of gives it a cool look, but I, my next focus was kind of getting rid of the bubbles, and then I have this set, this is my first whole set that I made, uh, it was supposed to be green with purple flakes in it and uh, the foil that I used for the flakes kind of bled out and uh, it kind of gave it a weird darkish dark purple but I kind of like it same thing though um, the this one had like the print lines so when I went to ink it it went it got into the print lines and then like the air bubbles and then uh, this was <clears throat> one of the last sets I made with uh, which I love it's not a full set it's just kind of an assortment of dice molds that i had um but i love the look of these it kind of has like a jade look to it which i was really happy about um so i have these and then this is the set that we're going to be working on tonight i also made my own dice bag i was pretty hyped about it <laughs> um, but this is the set we'll be working on it's just a just blue just blue a uh, set of dice that I made. Blue is my favorite color. Um, so uh, we're gonna basically tonight. The whole purpose of tonight is we're gonna s polish these, sand them down, polish them, and uh, get them all inked up, and then they'll be ready for to play. So let me put away all these real quick. Oops. Real quick 
for you. And uh, if you're just joining us, um, thanks for you know, thanks for stopping by. Hopefully, um, hopefully we have a good time. Uh, how's everyone doing today? Let's see. So what I'm going to be using to sand and polish these is going to be uh, something called Zona paper. So it is a type of uh, polishing paper that uh, it goes by goes by microns, which is uh, excuse me, I don't really know exactly the equivalency, but I have uh, thirty micron, which is this green one, which is the equivalent of six hundred grit. I don't know the conversion rate. I guess is what I was trying to say. This is a six hundred grit, basically. And I have all the way to one micron, which is 22,000 uh, 22, grit. So super fine. Uh, I tested these on that jade set and I loved how they came out. So we're gonna basically be doing the same thing for that, for this. So we'll get started. And let's see, sorry. Get started so uh, with zona paper you can do it uh, you can use it wet or dry I prefer wet it kind of gets rid of some of the dust that the Dyson lead off I have this paper plate we'll place it right on there and then it did not take a lot for me to sand these down when I was doing it before so let's add a little bit of water cool cool and we're just gonna get started so what I do is I literally, let me find the little side I want to start on first, right there. So I basically take it, I wet the zona paper, I go and I spin it, I rotate it like clockwise, counterclockwise, it doesn't really matter, about 10 to 20 times and then I'll flip sides. So. rotate it rotate and rotate Check it out real quick. It looks good. And then I'll kind of just maybe do one side that I think might need a little bit more. But otherwise, just a couple rotations on each die, and you're basically all set. Cool. Yeah, I love how that looks already. So I'll put that aside. And then we'll literally just move on to the next die. So now we're gonna do the D6. And then I try to do it, um, I try to keep track of what side I'm doing. So like, it's, it's super simple for like the D6, some of them, it gets a little trickier. Um, for like the, I mean really it's a D12, it's, a D, it's the D20 that usually gives the most issues just cause there's so many sides. But uh, for like the D6 for example, I just go, uh, I just increase basically numerically. So I did one, I did two, I'm working on three right now. Flip over to four. Six. Cool. 
actually love how that looks already. Um, not too bad, not too bad. Put that aside, and then I'll just go right to the D8. And let's see, where are we in here? We're going to start on one. Let's check that real quick. I do love, the, I love the way these dice came out. Like, I just like how it's like a real deep uh, blue. Um, so, I'm hoping like once everything, like once they're all polished and everything, uh, <clears throat> they just, I'm hoping they look amazing. But we'll see. This is honestly quite the arm workout. I have to do this for every die. It's okay. And then we're just gonna go back over the one side a little bit. What's up, George? How are you doing tonight? Uh, some of the dice, like I said, because they're three D printed, you have the layer lines. I uh, I sprayed the primer filler and sanded it down, but sometimes, especially on like the the one the one side on all the die, it uh, you can still see the lines. So this is actually really good about getting rid of them a little bit more better than regular sandpaper. I'm doing good, just chilling, good stuff. Me too. <laughs> Now we're going to do the D10. We're going to add a little bit more water. Looking a little dry there. There we go. We're just going to go at it. Usually on like the, the what is this, the 30 micron paper, I go a little bit uh, longer on the side just because it's, it's giving that initial uh, first wipe away on everything. And then uh, as the as the uh, the paper gets finer, I'll go ahead and I'll start. Um, I'll, I'll do that's when I kind of do more of the ten uh, ten rotations. So. How's your day been going, George? Are you and your uh, family staying safe?
length and I will do zero. So I'll click save. I <laughs> I know it said it already, but I uh, I really just love the the blue. I don't know, it just looks really good to me. So what side are we starting on? Four. Okay. Yeah, we've been doing good. Me and my dad got our first dosage of vaccine uh, a couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Um, we are looking to go to Houston this weekend to do uh to get the one shot so that's what we're that's the goal right now um we'll find out a little bit more on Thursday whether the place we're going is uh is gonna have more vaccines by then but uh yeah man that's awesome I'm glad that you guys uh were able to at least get the process started so I'm super hyped for it. That might be somewhat of an unpopular opinion, but I'm I'm looking forward to getting it. Uh, and then I think eight. It is nice, dude. got a text and I uh you guys probably heard my laptop go off but I got a text so I'm curious I'm a little I'm a little scared about what that's about let's see uh just some <laughs> my co-workers watching that's awesome hi Amanda <laughs> Your arm will be sore for a day. And that's fine. I don't really care. We all, you know, we all have to make sacrifices. <laughs> but, nah. It'll be chill. Um. I, uh, I watched Guardians of the Galaxy today because I've been kind of wanting to watch it a lot lately. And uh, I have the opening song like stuck in my head. Coworkers more like friends. Well, yes, they are my friends. I did misspeak. My bad, Lizzie. How's your day been going, Lizzie? Pepper's home. That's good. I, mean, I imagine she's pretty groggy from the surgery. I will say this is tiring. <laughs> and I have so much more to tell. But that's okay. Alright. Oh, there's a little dent in his eye. Mm, that's okay. I'm not too beat up about it. Oh, shit. Not really. 
and she's kind of the same, just chilling. Well, that's wild, actually. I figured she'd be tired. She'd be sleepy. But, we'll see. I thought she'd be sleepy. Me too. <laughs> She'll probably feel it tomorrow, honestly. I just I have that I have that song stuck in my head. So if I uh, if it gets quiet and I kind of start singing it, it's just it's just stuck. Okay, that one look that one's looking pretty good. All right. Cool. Yeah, I have uh, <clears throat> this. These dice have been literally all I've been kind of focusing on for the last. Two months <laughs> I started uh, uh, like really trying to figure out how to make dice back in January like mid to late January and uh, it's really kind of interesting actually how much work goes into these so uh, kind of like a new a whole new like uh, appreciation for it so because yeah I learned a lot <laughs> in the last two months about these so Ooh, slipped a little bit um there it is nope yep okay there we go gotta be careful I'm starting to catch a little bit Circles. Okay. Um, wiggle. Oh, 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 oh. And then, like, uh, when I got, when I get to, well, this one, the D12 is not that hard because it's kind of like one half is all odd numbers and the other half is all um, even. But the, the like, uh, the D20 is kind of the hardest to keep track of. But I've, uh, I'll kind of explain how I, uh, I'll do it in a second when I get there. So, I kind of made it a little bit easier for me. I have to dumb down things sometimes for me. But, uh, no, I got it to work pretty well. Um, let's see. No, I'll do the even side. Has everyone here seen WandaVision all the way through yet? Or do we still, has uh, anyone like been wanting to? Hmm. It just doesn't have the time yet to watch it.
yeah, we finished it. It's really good. It was really good, dude. Without giving, without giving too much away for anyone that hasn't seen it yet, I loved it. I was couldn't have been more happier with how how it was. But uh, so I'm really excited for um, Falcon and Winter Soldier. All right. So all I have left for this uh, for this grid or this the. Three thirty micron is the D20. And like I said, that one's a little bit more... Uh, it's a little bit more difficult only because there's so many sides to keep track of. But what I basically do is I will start... Um, I will start with the even numbers. So I'll start on 20. I'll do the rotation. And I'll go to 18, then 16, 14, so on and so forth. So I get to 2. And then I'll repeat the process. But I'll, go, I'll start from 1 and work my way back up to 19. So that's just kind of the easiest way I've had for me to figure it out. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're going we're gonna to shoot through this real quick. The first episode was good. It was good. I liked it a lot. I, uh, I liked it a lot. <laughs> I don't know why I asked about this because I don't know who's seen it, so I don't want to talk about it and like spoil it for anyone. But uh, I agree. It was good. Um, if you're just joining us, thanks for coming coming through. Um, how's your day going so far? Okay, I did the 20. Where is the 18? 18, okay. Yeah, the one the one issue with these being so uh, kind of like a dark blue, it's a little hard to see the numbers. But it's okay. They're also wet, so I mean, that in and of itself is going to make it a little, a little wily. How long do you spend on each number? Uh, so basically... Um, like I said a couple minutes ago, um, when I do it, typically it'll be about 10 rotations, clockwise, counterclockwise, doesn't really matter. Um, but this one, just because it's the, I guess, like the roughest one that I have at 600 grit, it, uh, I'll spend a little bit longer on it. Come on, though. 16. <laughs> I'll spend a little bit longer on it just to really kind of, like, sand down any, like, print lines that I left behind. So, not crazy long. But, like, just a little bit longer. So, let's see. I'll have to be really careful because this one uh, turns real easily. And I'm trying my best to see if I can keep the uh, the the sharp edge as best as I can. So, we'll see. I'm sure it'll round out a little bit, but we should be okay. Alright, so that was 16. Where are you? There it is. 14. <laughs> what? Yes. Another easy way uh, that I kind of have to, to make sure the right number's on the bottom, is um, the way I have my dice set, um, ideally, whatever the, the numbers that are opposite each other, should equal up to one more than the total number of sides on the die. So for just for example, um, the side I just did was 14, and the side that I have on the exact opposite is 7, so 21, 20 sided die. So that's kind of a little bit of quick math on my end, but uh, that's, that's also kind of how I make sure I'm still on the right number if it rolls and I just don't catch it for whatever reason. So was that 12? Okay. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, once again, you know, thanks for coming out. I know everyone has a busy schedule, so I appreciate you coming to stop by and hang out for a little bit. I don't know how long this is actually going to take, uh, just because before when I was sanding with just regular sandpaper, it took me forever. But uh, this sandpaper actually feels like, I feel like I go through pretty quick with this, with this paper. So I'm hoping that's not the case. So we'll just keep going and we'll find out. So I think I'm on the 10 side, yeah. So I'm on the 10, the 10 face. Rotations. And then that's 10's done. 
So we're going to move down to 8. Big change on the opposite side, so I know that's good. I'm just going to kind of spin. I should... <laughs> Should have gotten a uh, like a small baking sheet so I can put that on here instead instead of this paper uh, paper plate, so I don't have to worry about the water like crushing through because this will destroy the plate obviously because it's just paper. But uh, oh well, I'll get that. I'll do that next time. Six. Six and now we have four. Perfect. It's a fly looking shirt you got there. Thank you. It's my brand new shirt. Uh, I found this literally at Walmart and I scooped it up immediately. <laughs> there was not a question. So. And it's super comfortable too, actually. Like it's like it just feels super uh, super soft. So that's really, really really nice. All right, that was four two. Twenty now was two. Two there it is. It would be a shame if someone stole it. Don't steal my shirt. Thank you. Hey! hey. You're laughing at me. How dare you. Okay. Now all the even sides are done. So we're going to go ahead and work on the odd starting with one and we'll just work our way back up and then we'll uh after this like i said literally after this one um it kind of speeds up a little bit because i don't have to uh focus on any side for too long because at this point it's literally just polishing it out uh, i just need to find three boom <sighs> Three is good. That's six. Seventeen. Where is five? Five. Perfect. Five. Yes. Your patience is commendable. Thank you. Because, yeah. <laughs> it's literally just this die. This die takes the longest time. Seven? Yes, that is seven. How are you tonight, Amanda? Seven's good. Six, so nine is actually really close to it if I know it correctly. Nine. I'm good just writing my nightly essay. Good shit. Essays are important. Eleven's done, so now we're going to move to 
13. I should have really gone with the lighter color. 15. Oh, 13. 13. My bad. Let's go. I don't want this going off. This one, I want to look up on kind of just a little bit of a lick. Um, yeah, that's probably fine. All right, so 15. Where are you? There you are. <sighs> Number 17. Found it right away. Teams right there. And then I always just kind of do the one again, uh, the one sided. Just try to get rid of more of those, uh, those lines. like that first rounds done these are looking pretty cool and then I literally just take this and I'll throw it over there I'm gonna dry out all right so now I'll take out this paper we're gonna be moving to oh, the 15 grit or 15 micron which is the equivalent of 1200 grit so now we're getting a little bit finer. Um, the 600 grit one basically kind of got rid of any rough uh, roughness to the dice. So now I can kind of just, it, it's going to go by a lot quicker. So we're going to start back again with our D4. Oh, with our D4. And we're just going to go. I always kind of, I don't know why this one's the easiest one, but I always kind of like lose track of what side I'm on. So I end up doing like a side or two twice. That's okay. It all looks amazing. Yeah. That one's done. So you have to send them all twice. No. I have to send them all. One, two, three, four, six times. <laughs> I have to send each one six times. So. But the process uh, really speeds up after the first one. So. It, uh, it, go it goes by a lot quicker. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. I mean, I'm crazy, but you know, what are you gonna do? And then six. That one's done. Then we'll move on to the next. 
this guy. And you've only done one side. I have no patience. I don't have patience either. Uh, this, uh, the, the zone of paper, I don't know what it is. It just feels like it goes by quicker. Um. I've used regular sandpaper, and I've used uh, micro mesh, which is just super fine sandpaper. And even with the micro mesh, it seems like it takes forever, but like it really doesn't seem like it takes that bad with this one. So, but typically, uh, some go. Uh, typically, when I do this, uh, if I'm not like streaming, I'll um. Typically when I'm streaming, I'll have something on in the background to kind of like preoccupy my time. Um, YouTube or Hulu or whatever. Whatever I'm watching at the time. And uh, it kind of helps. But it's okay because I have friends here to talk to. So everything's going A-okay. It doesn't take long, but I still sometimes lose count, and I'll just kind of keep going. But I mean, really, it's the more the merrier. So it doesn't really, it won't damage it too much. It's not um, it's not gritty enough to where it's gonna like take too much away and ruin the die. So. What's the latest Shark Tank you watched? Um, I don't know. They kind of all blend together. <laughs> I'm on like... I I literally will binge watch a show um, to the point where I get burnt out on it a little bit. And then I... Uh, I won't watch it for a little bit. And then like six months go by and I go, why did I stop watching this? And I'll basically restart it all over again. The basic, the biggest example of that is uh, King of the Hill, aka the best show ever made. Don't at me. But uh, Shark Tank, um, I'm trying to remember. They all, they literally all just kind of blur together. Um. There was one that they basically made an accessory that you can use. You basically, it's basically like, a, it's a tongue. So when you're like, your pet licks you, you can lick them back. But you don't get any of the fur. I don't remember what it's called. I don't recommend it. Uh -huh. But that, I think that was on like the last episode that I watched. I don't remember. Oh, no, actually, the last one I watched, it was, uh, it was this guy from New York, basically, um, trying to, he owned a pizza shop, and he, uh, it was, it became, like, so popular that he essentially, uh, started, like, flash freezing his food and selling it to supermarkets, so he was basically trying to get a deal on, um, on that, but the shocks were like, well, we'll, we'll hold on. Like we want the whole, we want the, we want the restaurant too. And he was like a little, he was a little wily about it, but I'm pretty sure he got the deal. So. So very rarely do they like they, very rarely do they um, not take a deal if they get one. Usually it's like their pride gets in their way or something. So and I mean I guess I get it. That side's good. 
and all over the even side. See, I'm like we're kind of like we're shooting through these now. I'm already on the D one hundred, you know. So the twenty always takes the longest time, but it it's significantly um, shorter. So. A little rotate. Um, how's everyone doing tonight? I don't know if I've asked that in a little bit. I hope everyone's uh, staying safe out there, wearing masks. I know here in Texas they just lifted the uh, the mask mandate. Wildly enough, but you know whatever. A lot of companies basically, from what I've seen, a lot of companies companies basically said, "Nah, keep your masks." So that's kind of cool. That people are listening to science. Not. Dangerous. Ew, masks? How dare you, George? I think I'm done. I think I kind of went over a couple of slides twice. Um, track of what side I was on for a second. <laughs> Guys, I'm not kidding. I think these dice are going to look really, really fucking cool when if everything's all said and done. And I literally can't wait uh, to see how they turn out. So. I know, uh, <clears throat> I know technically we were working on the Iron Man helmet, and I still, we still are, <laughs> but I know this is definitely, like, a nice little, like, change of pace. You know, I go from sending one thing to sending a different thing, so I thought that was a good little change of scenery. Uh, four. You should try orange next. Maybe. I think I have orange. I want to do a set where, uh, because I'm a huge nerd, I want to do a set where uh, I color them based off the Infinity Stones. And there's, I mean, there, there is enough uh, die dice in a set where I can do that um, but I don't know what color I do the seventh die probably the d20 um, because like I could do it purple for like I thought I could do it for th uh, purple for Thanos but uh, there's already purple for the power stone so it doesn't really make sense uh I might be able to do gold, but I'm worried it would look too much like yellow or orange. So I gotta figure that out. 
I could just do like a color that has nothing to do with it, like black or white or something like that, and just call it like good. Oh, or like red and gold for like Iron Man. Make the last one gold. I I'm thinking about it. I just I'm worried that it'll look too much. Uh, it'll look too much like orange or yellow. But I I I did think about that. All right, D twenty. Do it with the flakes? That's not a bad idea, actually, Lizzie. That's a really good idea, because I can make it clear, but put the flakes in there and give it a little bit of gold. All right. That actually is a really good idea. God damn it. Sixteen. Okay. Fourteen. See what I mean? Like, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of blowing through this one even a little quicker. It's just, there's so many sides. Like, honestly, the longest part is trying to find the right side to the next side I'm doing. So, let's see. There's the 12. And we're going to go straight to the 10, which is right next to it. I love that. Uh, yeah, okay. Clear with gold flakes. I actually kind of like that idea. I think you might be on to something. I'm assuming clear with the gold flakes. Because I actually like that idea. So. That, uh, that might be my next set, actually. That I do. And then, of course, I'm still working on actually making another Infinity Gauntlet. Just for, like, a wearable one. But, uh, I just, I don't, I haven't made the time. Really haven't. And there'll be days, like, I'll get off work and I'll be like, oh, yeah, dude, I want, or like, I'll be at work and I'll be like, yeah, yeah, when I get off work today, I'll like, I'll sit down, I'll record me putting a little bit together, I'll try to get this far into it, and then I'm just, I'm so tired from work. <laughs> I'll just be like, I'll do it later. But later never comes. <laughs> so. But I have started it. I just need to actually like sit down and work on it more. Where's two, four. There it is. Two right there, two nineteen on the bottom, or uh, nineteen on the top, and we'll just go. And then one by one, or is that seven? That's one. Okay. <sighs> I've thought about maybe doing a video of uh, me like making a set of dice from uh, start to finish basically which would include like making a mold like making new molds and uh, you know and then casting it but uh, I don't know. The uh, the silicone I use is just kind of expensive, so that's why I'm like I don't know if I want to really use it on that again. It's like fifty bucks. Excuse me, a pop. So I'm a little like. Mm. 
So that would be cool. Because then I would do... That would be... The, the, the gauntlet dice would be really, really cool. For a video, I think, actually. So maybe... Maybe in the future. I'll have a little... Uh, a little video on that. Working on side seven. Oh, scrolled a little bit. You're nine, okay. Six and nine are like right next to each other. Don't ask me why I did that. <laughs> but, uh... So I have to be really careful. Making sure I don't do the wrong number. And skip over a number. Nine, okay, eleven. Eleven. <sighs> Thirteen. That's eighteen. Fourteen. You, you're nine. What are you? You're nineteen. Fifteen. Where's my thirteen? There it is. Thirteen's done. Fifteen. Seventeen next. And then nineteen. Just like that. <sighs> it's another round of sanding done. Now we're going to move on to the 9 micron. It's equivalent to uh, 1800 grit. So now we can really kind of speed this up a little bit. A little bit more water. Here we go. Done. Go. Oh, catches. Oh. Trying to be careful too because I don't want to tear up my paper. But here we go. Uh, one, two. So as you can see, now that I'm getting a lot finer, I'm I'm literally just it's a couple a couple rotations if I'm not like losing track or like getting uh losing my focus. And we're just we're literally now at this point they're basically just polishing the dice, and they're gonna make them look hopefully uh, 
pretty glass like. Boom. <sighs> All right, Sandman, go. Sorry, I'm not saying a whole lot. I'm, I'm like trying to concentrate just to make sure I don't like lose track of how many times I'm rotating so I don't stay on one two side for too long. Okay, so we can kind of shoot through this as quick as we can. Because it really, it, this really does kind of speed up the process. I swear, I know I keep saying that. Is anyone uh is anyone excited for Godzilla? Godzilla vs. Kong comes out next week. Next Wednesday, actually. Is anyone excited for that? I kinda am. Uh I watched the first Godzilla when it came out. And then I did not watch the second one. I don't know why. I like I didn't hate the the first one, the King of Monsters. I didn't hate the first Godzilla. I don't know why I did not watch King of Monsters, but um, it was a good time. I'm hoping for this one. I might, I might actually like watch it, the second one, and then so I could just so I could watch this one because I want to see who wins. I personally think uh, Godzilla will win because he's Godzilla. What what does King Kong have? Nothing. Whew. George, you were talking about my arm being sore from getting the shot, dude. My arm's gonna be my arm's gonna be killing me tomorrow. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. Uh, all right, that dice is done. On to the D twelve. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who do you think will win, George? It'll hurt. Yes, it'll hurt. Okay. I'll just take a bunch of ibuprofen. It'll be fine. I ain't no, I ain't no baby back bitch, George. It's actually really funny. I was talking to someone about this the other day, like a week ago. Um, I am looking to get uh, vaccinated just because I, you know, should, you know, I, I want to get vaccinated. It's my choice. But um, I was like, I don't know why. I'm just, I'm nervous about, I think, getting the shot itself just because I'm like, <laughs> it's really weird because I have tattoos. So, like, it's literally, I've been, uh, I've been, um, you know, obviously I've had needles go in and out of me, but, you know, literally probably thousands of times to get a tattoo. But this one thing is like, kind of like, ooh, but I think it's cause it's, uh, it's just one needle and they, uh, someone said, well, it was like, 
tattoos, they only go so deep. This one goes deep, deep. Or, like, in, you know, actually into your arm. So I'm like, ah, that makes sense. Also, for me, I experienced chills in the middle of the night, but after my shot, but that was it. Oh, that's not bad. I'm not super worried about uh, side effects, to be quite honest. I'll just, you know, I'll deal with that as it comes. But, uh, because it's, to me, it's better than the alternative. You know. Yes? Okay. I love you too. But, uh, yeah, getting, like, the side effects, I think it's better than the alter alternative. So, I say bring it on. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to do the T20. Sorry. <laughs> uh, 18's done. 16, 19, 16. Okay, here we are. Cool, cool. Tell her hi. Alyssa. <laughs> I don't want to yell. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want to get any. I don't want to get in trouble with the. People above me, if I yell and they get mad, which would be ironic because they're always running out. My neighbors upstairs are kind of the worst because uh, I think it. it uh, I think they are. Oh look, it saw themselves. I think they. Uh, I think it's a family, which is fine. I don't care that it's a family. But they be doing some weird shit at random times of the day. Um, or, like, at literally at random times. They will... It'll be, like, midnight, and you'll, you'll just hear stomping. I don't get it. So I'm like, it's midnight, you should be asleep. Or... Is that 10? That's 10, okay. Um... They'll be moving around furniture at like two in the morning, and it's just weird. It's just wild. It's like why, 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 why do that at two in the morning? Uh, but we just, we just haven't like made a complaint. You know, I just, it's a lot of work. I just deal with it. Suffer in silence, basically. Well, I don't suffer in silence. I complain about it to everyone. It's not my office. That was four, or that was six, so I need four. Sprinting up and down the halls. Yeah, they do do that. They just, I don't understand it. I don't, I don't know what they do. Like I said, I think, I honestly think it's a family. Or at least someone with a kid. And again, that's fine. I don't care. But it is annoying when it's like late at night and it's all you hear is someone running around upstairs. So. What are you going to do? Okay. The even side is done. So now we'll find one. And we'll just kind of shoot through it real quick. Uh, three. This really is the worst one to do. It's just so many sides. And it being a little transparent, it uh, kind of actually makes it a little bit more of a pain. But, goddammit, I love it. Uh, that's three. Where's five? Are you five? You're five. Hey, don't worry, guys. I found side five. Okay. Seven right there. It's 
by nine. Sorry, I know I'm lifting it out of frame. I'm just like I'm trying to really look and see where the uh, where the number is, so I can sand it. Thirteen, thirteen, uh, fifteen, right there. Seventeen. 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 And nineteen. Okay. Sign that real quick. Boom. Another another round of paper done. I'm gonna take a quick drink of water. Because I'm thirsty. <sighs> okay. Next, we are going to do this, and this is three micron, uh, the equivalent of eight thousand grit. Again, just a little bit more water. Just gonna once again just zoom right through. Um, it is a little tedious doing this. Like I, I won't deny it. Um, I am trying to figure out a way to kind of, uh, I guess, automate it. Might not be the right word. But I'm trying to figure out a way to make it kind of go back quicker. Um, but. You know, it's a process. Um, one thing I've seen a lot of, uh, some people do, is they'll get like a pottery wheel, and they'll just tape down their, 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 whatever they're using to sand it, just down to the thing, and then have it spin. That's really cool. Um, I just don't know if I could justify getting a, sand, a, a, a pottery wheel just for this. Plus, I don't even know where I'd go to get one. I don't know where I'd go to get one. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so it's kind of like a, I don't know. This isn't too bad. Like, it's time consuming, but it's not, like, horrible. And, like, realistically, like, this is kind of going by pretty quick, to be honest. I know it doesn't seem like it, but... <laughs> Ooh. Uh, so, four, five. And then... Six. I don't know how well this slips through, but, like... I love it. I love how this is looking already. <laughs> so. Um, I do plan on trying to see if I can sell a couple sets. Just make a little money back on the investment. Because I did, I will say, I, I just said I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd invest in the pottery wheel. But I did get a uh, pressure pot to kind of help me make sure... To help me um, get like any bubbles out of my molds and my resin, so I did spend the money on that. <clears throat> and that was an investment in of itself. <sighs> but um, I'm hoping to see if I can maybe sell a couple sets, try to get a little bit of the money back. But if not, you know it is what it is. This is still cool, and I can at least say like, well, this is another thing I know how to do. But uh, we'll see. I do have a couple people that have like 
that hit me up and I was like, oh, it's like I'd love to buy, I'd love to check it out. So we'll see. But if you want a set, let me know. Cause I make cool dice. I make basic dice. I've like looked on Etsy and people make some cool dice. <laughs> but uh, I think these aren't bad for how long I've been working on this. So. Okay, another one done. D8. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Can't say it enough. We're halfway done, guys. Uh, one thing I did learn about when I was doing this, because originally I was just going to... Um, get a set of dice and make molds out of them uh, and go from there but I found out there's actually a lot of uh, there's a lot of like stuff like apparently like you can't just use any dice because um, the font can be like copyrighted or like you have to license out the font and stuff like that which is really interesting I really didn't know that so it was a really cool kind of like learning thing I have no idea what side I just did but, um, but, um, I found, I found, like, websites where, like, you can, you know, like, they're free for commercial use, free for, you know, whatever. So I found that to hopefully get around it. I don't, I don't know if you can, uh, full on, like, license them out from there. Or, because I'm sure if they put them for free to commercial use, I'm sure, like, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so I like, it was really cool. So I basically spent a couple days, uh, figuring out the, the right font I wanted. And then I, uh, you know, I learned how to com co basically transfer it to a 3d file. Oh shoot. What side did I just do? I don't know. We're gonna say this one's done. <laughs> um, but I learned how to like take it from like just saying, okay, cool, um, this is the font I want. And I learned how to like put it into my 3D modeling uh, software. And like I said, I watched you know tutorials on like how to kind of build your own dice and do all that. So um, I learned quite a lot. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with how everything's turned out. You know, uh, I do, I love learning new skill, uh, new skills. So, and I've wanted to learn how to kind of like make my own 3D models for the longest time. And I think this is kind of a good, um, good entryway into doing that. Because then from this I can, I can, uh, then I can really kind of start experimenting and seeing like, okay, well what else can I make and stuff like that. Um, so we'll see. It was really, really cool. Like, I, like, not even, like, along with this, like, I've learned how to sew. Um, or I'm learning how to sew using, like, a sewing machine and stuff like that. Um, that's been really, really cool. Uh, where, okay, cool. Um, so I learned how, I'm learning how to sew. I've made, I made a dice bag for these dice. So that was cool, and that took me a couple days. Once I kind of like figured out how to um, make it work, because <laughs> it was kind of a pain in the ass. But uh, I've had a lot of fun doing this. I have a lot of fun building. You know, when I make the time, like it is a fun hobby, and I uh, I think I'm I think I'm pretty decent at it.
obviously there's a lot uh, there's a lot of people that are better than I am, but I think I think I have a good time. I think a lot of what I do comes out pretty pretty swell. That one's done. D12. Here we go. Here we here we here we go. I can feel the plate starting to give out a little bit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Like, I'm just, I'm doing, like, quick little shrimps through this. So, because, really, at this point, it really is just polishing. And I'm sure if I wanted to, I could probably just skip, after this, I could probably just skip to the next highest, like, the, or uh, the highest grit of these, of the paper, of the, uh, these papers. But, I don't know. I think... I think the uh, I think it's worth it to kind of go through it and just make sure everything's all set. Boom! Another one died by some dust. And here we go. Eighteen, here we go. Uh, Eighteen, twenty, fourteen, sixteen, here we go. Now we're gonna find fourteen. say I think the font I should I love the font I chose I just think it doesn't transfer over to the d20 very well just because I can only make them so big so they don't uh, you know come off the side or like you know so it all fits on the side that it's on but um, otherwise I think this is a really cool really cool Really cool, really cool. Alright. Odd numbers. It'll never get better because it'll never be easy to find these fucking numbers.
koło. Seven. You're six, you're nine. That was done. Uh, 15? There, you're 19, 17, 15. Okay, cool. 17? 17. So that's good. We're done with this grit. Oof. All right, almost done guys. Now we're doing the two micron. This is the equivalent to 10,600 grit. So this is really fine, really, really fine. And I love it. back now try that off all right here we go oh yeah that one's done Necessary splash. Which one are you? There we go. Okay, now we're really just we're really just kind of blazing through it.
Okay. We're really just kind of playing through the... Going through the motions. Literally. Looking, those are looking good. They're uh, honestly they're starting to get kind of like glass like, and that's really what I want. Ooh, we're almost done tapering. It's okay. literally just uh, shooting through right now. Done. Whew. And we're back at the D20. Alright. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Okay, here we are. 20. Fourteen, come on. I was on a roll. <laughs> Fourteen, there we are. Ain't no thing. Twelve. Oh, twelve. is right next to it. Eight's not far from there. Six. Six. See, there'll be times where, like, after a while, I kind of, I'm like, I'm getting it. I know where, it, I'm starting to kind of figure out, like, the exact, uh, the approximate uh, area where the numbers are. And then I, there are just moments where I literally lose <laughs> whatever spot I'm at. And I'm like, oh no, I don't know where, I don't, 18, 
18 is the hardest one for me to find for some reason. 18 and 16. I'm kinda, I kind of got through everything else, no problem. Uh, okay, now one. So you do one, you're 11. One, there you go. Boom. Ryan from Super Mega. Oh. Hey, Edgar, how are you tonight? I'm glad you could, <laughs> glad you could stop by, man. How you doing? I like that shirt. Thank you, it's my brand new shirt. Looky, looky at my brand new shirt. Uh, three, there we go. Five. Uh, basically, Edgar, what we're doing, uh, what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm just polishing up all my dice and then I'm gonna be inking it out to uh, have a full set of uh, dice for like tabletop games, Dungeons and Dragons, stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited. Uh, I've been working on these for a while. You're doing great? Dude, I'm really glad to hear that, man. I'm really glad to hear that. I got me some, you got some new pants? Good stuff, guy. My shirt's a bit tight, but I make it work, dude. So, like. <clears throat> 13? Where are you? Interesting stuff. I've always wanted to play D and I um, have also wanted to play. Um, my girlfriend, my my brothers, and I, we uh, tried playing on our own a couple years ago, and it was going all right. It's just uh, um, you know, everyone wor started. Everyone started working, so we really stopped. Because no one, it was impossible for all of us to be like there <clears throat> at the same time. But um, I have wanted to like properly learn how to play. It's that steg level of tightness is just right. Good shit. <laughs> yeah, that's accurate. This shirt actually, all, <laughs> all joking is, this shirt actually fits really nicely, and it's like it's really comfortable. So I gotta say, I, I really do like this shirt. Like, I went back today and I bought a couple other shirts. <laughs> so I could have a little variety. So, it was fucking a nice shirt, dude. This shirt was only 12 bucks. I can't beat, you can't beat that. Cool. Alright, so that one's good. <sighs> okay. We're done with this one. Alright. Hit the light. Final one, guys. You can see the paper. Oh, that paper. Oh, oh it's leaked through. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just we'll power through this real quick, and then uh, I don't have anything to clean this up with. Interesting. That's fine. I'll fix it out. So this is one micron. This is the equivalent of twenty-two thousand grit sandpaper. So this is fine. This is honestly, honestly, this is probably like paper. So we're literally just going to, we're going to power through this real quick. <clears throat> the stimulus is making you live and feel like Kanye, Rob. I'm proud. <sighs> I spent my the, the moment I got it. <laughs> no lie. Um, not anything crazy. I, I was an adult and I paid. I made a, I made a pretty big payment on my credit card bill, so I didn't go crazy crazy, but uh, it did help me with my bills a little bit, which is, you know, obviously the intention. It's absolutely not what I use the last two on. So <laughs> I use the last two on stupid shit, unfortunately, but you know, I am living like Kanye now. What's up? Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
Cool. I got another paper plate. Put that underneath there. Uh, paper towels. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play a little. Ooh, I'm gonna play a little risky real quick, guys. I'm gonna clean this up. Flip it on that water. Okay. There it goes. Um, let's put it on the ground. Ain't no big deal. Cool. Ah, throat's getting a little dry. All right. Now I got more paper. I got my second wind. That's great stuff. I've been hanging on to mine for the most part so I can buy a nice PC. That's cool, dude. We uh, we still do not have a PC. I, cleaning ASMR. <laughs> I, uh, no, I use mine uh, literally to pay. I, I literally put all of it on the credit card because I was like, oh, my credit card's getting too wily. So, you know, it is what it is. But, um, I did say, I'm kind of, I'm getting a little bit more serious about trying to find a PS5. Um, so literally at this point, it's like, if I see, it's, it's buy on site, there's no hesitation. <laughs> I will put all $600, 600, probably $700 on the credit card with no regrets because I'll have a PS5. And, uh, that's kind of where I'm at now. But, um, you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not desperate enough yet to, like, try to buy the ones that are, like, outrageously priced. Because I think it's wild that people are doing that. Um, and I mean, I get it, you gotta, you know. I would have wanted to, I would have wanted to build one, but the parts I'd like to have are pretty hard to come by. Just steal them. Who's gonna stop you? The only limitations is you, buddy. But, uh, yeah, so. <sighs> Hopefully, I'll, 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 I'm hoping to have one by the end of the year. To be quite honest, the only games I, the only games that I have for it would be, uh, Miles Morales, because I love that game. I have to beat it still, no spoilers. Um, and then, uh, Resident Evil 8 Village when it comes out, or Resident Evil Village when it comes out. I think the best place to find them online is the play, is PlayStation Direct. Is that just like uh, PlayStation's like just on a website? Pro tip, just steal. Pro tip, just steal. Uh, what's play? Uh, what's PlayStation Direct, Edgar? I don't know what that is. I'm not hip. Is that literally just PlayStation's website? I'm getting. I'm getting caught up because now we're like talking about like playstations and stuff so i'm like uh i'm losing track so i'm just standing one side forever Yeah, if it's PlayStation itself, that's where I got mine. Um, I'll have to check it out. Because honestly, uh, I, I will put it on the credit card if I find one. And I'm able to buy one. I don't even care. Like, I want a fucking PlayStation. <laughs> so, we'll see. I say that, but then it's like when it can, if I actually came upon it, I don't know if I would. I don't know if I'd pull the trigger, but I do want one. It's just we're supposed to uh, we're supposed to be going to Disney uh, Disney World. We're supposed to go to Disney World here in a month, like oh, two months. 
less than two months, really, actually. Um, so I, I have to save up for that, too. So like that's also kind of like the thing. But the only thing, the plan, the, the only plan is to buy a, build my own lightsaber. I don't care about anything else. I could, I could go the rest. I'm go, I'm, we're there for a week. Oh, and I, you know, a wand. We're going to Universal Studios on the last day, so I got to get a wand. But, um, other than that, I could go that whole trip without getting anything else. But if I get those two things, I don't care. <laughs> uh, we actually have to... I'm pretty sure we have to make our reservations here, though. Or we, we can. We can make our reservation here now. Like, today or tomorrow or something like that. Pretty soon. Uh, if you sit on the site and they happen to respot the page, puts you on a queue to buy one. Hmm. But don't I have to be, like, monitoring the site at all times? That's where it's like, I want one, I just don't know if I'm, like, that dedicated at the moment to, like, wait, you know, because I can't, unfortunately, I just, I can't, um, you could just build a wand, Rob. I could just build a wand. I get 3D printer on. Honestly, you know what? You might be right. You might be onto something. I could just build a wand. But, I mean, for sure, I gotta, I gotta build the lightsaber. That's just a must. Like I, when we were told we were doing this last year, I was like, "That's all we're doing. I don't care about anything else." That's first day. If I can do it that way, I, it's first day. <laughs> so, uh, so we'll see. But I think for sure I'll have I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll have a PS Five by the end of the year. Like I don't doubt it. Like really, it's it's destiny. Unpopular opinion, but I will probably check out the PlayStation Direct store. Uh, just because, like, goddamn. I'm pretty sure this dice is done. <sighs> Two more dice. Two more dice. There, there's other sites that can notify you when a website restocks. Yeah, that's what my um, that's what my boss did because he was, he was on the hunt forever for PlayStation when it came out. Um, to the point, on fucking uh, on Black Friday, we had both closed. Um, Black uh, on Thanksgiving, we both closed Thanksgiving. And I got home, it was like midnight, one o'clock, you know, whatever. And he like texted me. He texted me at uh, like one thirty, he was like, Hey, are you still up? What are the what are the odds that you'll uh you'll go to the GameStop by your house to see if they have like see if there's a line? Cause he was gonna he was gonna he was gonna um go wait in line. Yeah, Rob, unicorn hair is easy to find, just go to Alabama. Jesus. Come on now. Everyone knows unicorns are in Mississippi. Goofball. Six. Eight. Ten. Oh yeah, I was gonna buy one for a friend and the San Marcos store did have a line. Yeah, that's what I, like. That's what I told him. I, well, I didn't go. Um, only because I was like, nah, dude. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I've already like I've laid down. Like, I'm already like in bed. And he was like chill about it. He wasn't like mean or like rude or anything about it. But uh, I was like, I told like I told him the next. Day, I was like, dude, here's the thing. Like, you would have had to go like days in advance because people want this. Fucking, they want this console. So. But he, he, he did end up getting one. 
Um, but because he was using like those rest- uh, the 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 websites that tell you when they restock and stuff, so he was able to get one. Um, I'm pretty hyped about it. Someday, someday my game will come. <sighs> what other have any other like good games come out for the PS5 yet? Because I really don't know. Um, like I said, the only game, the main games I would get for it would be uh, uh, I I get yeah, Miles Morales, which we already own, but uh, and it'd be the new Resident Evil game when it came out. But um, because those are the only games that I know of. That I'd want to get. And Minecraft. You, you, you gotta get Minecraft. Huh. I'm almost done. Eight, 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 eight. The new God of War game might be coming out. This, is, oh, is it coming out this year? Uh, what is that? That's Ragnarok. Yes. Uh, see, I've never really played the God of War games. My girlfriend has. She loves them. I've never really played them. No, no, like not for any particular reason. I just never have. What the hell is? Oh, eight. There it is. So, Horizon has a new game out this year, I believe. Same thing. I've never played it. I just I don't make a lot of game I don't I don't make a lot of time for games. That's the problem. Where is six? Six, you are six. We are grouped. Uh the Guilty Gear Strive is gonna be really good. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. What's that? Now the odd numbers. We're so close. Being done. Final Fantasy VII Remake isn't new, but it's getting ported to the PS5. That'll probably look good. Square Enix really does do a good job on like their games, so. What about Persona? Is, Pers- is Persona, can, can you get Persona on like the PlayStation? Or is that not a thing? It's a legit question. Five, seven, where's seven? Seven. Ah, guys, we're so close to being done with this. <laughs> My arms are starting to tire out. <clears throat> Thirteen. Thirteen. Guilty Gear Strive is a fighting game that's made really well to look good and play extremely well online. It has rollback netcode. I don't know what that is either. That sounds cool. Fifteen, 
17, no. Oh, she brought me a couple pieces of paper. Persona 5 Royal doesn't have a port, but you can still play the PS4 version and still enjoy it a heck of a lot. Cool. Alright. Uh, that's fine. All right, let me clean up the table real quick. We're almost done, guys. That was all this, uh, the, the zone of paper. We're going to go ahead and kind of wipe this off a little bit. There's also a Persona 5 Strikers that's a sequel to Persona 5, and it plays like Hyrule Warriors. Oh, that's really cool. Hyrule Warriors is pretty cool. Um, whew, all right, I'm gonna put you right there, okay, uh, I'm gonna dry these off real quick, all right, guys. Cool. After about an hour and a half <laughs> of sanding, these are looking pretty good. So the last thing I do when I uh, when I'm polishing them up is I have a I call it. I call it the four-step polishing. And that kind of... Um, that kind of helps give it a bit more of its shine back. So I take this. This doesn't take nearly as long either, by the way. Um, I'll show you guys. So I take it. And I have a three-step polishing kit. And I basically just kind of go down the line. And I start with uh, number three, the heavy scratch remover to kind of get rid of anything left over. Come on. Uh, you could also play Persona 4 Golden on your laptop, Rob. Game on the go like your Switch. What about the Switch Pro? Come on, it's a little clogged up. Okay. Hmm. If I can unclog it a little bit. All right, well. Cool. What's the fourth polish? Uh, it's called whoo, Plastex. It's literally just a polish that you would use for like your like headlights and shit like that. But uh, I use that last. Ooh. Okay, so let's see. We're just gonna kind of let that kind of play around in it a little bit. I think this is what gives it um, its really good shine, honestly. I'll quickly go through. I'll run it through all of the dice real quick. And I'll reapply like after every die. Just cuz. Okay. 
The Switch Pro is still a rumor, but it keeps getting traction. I think it's a. I think it's a thing. Cause I want it to be a thing, so therefore it's a thing. <laughs> Pull it around a little bit, squish it up. A new game for the Switch is coming with Monster Hunter Rise. We could play that one together, Rob. Monster Hunter Rise, huh? What's that one? I think, didn't they just make a movie called Monster Hunter? Is that, is that like the same thing? <sighs> I sound like my dad. Awful. Because that's absolutely some stuff he'd say. I want it to be a thing, too. Yeah. I think... I don't imagine, I don't know what it would really entail. I'm sure it would be like better graphics, stuff like that. Maybe uh, better, better um, Joy-Cons. So they're a little bit more durable and they don't drift as heavily. So, we'll see. What's next? You. Ooh. Yeah. Monster Hunter Rise and the movie are the same franchise. Okay, I thought so. Because I want to say someone said it was based off the game when it came out. Um, I did not watch it, obviously. I don't. I just don't. I don't make time for anything. <laughs> I literally go home. I work and I go home. I don't make time for anything else right now. It's hard. It's hard for me to be social. But that's okay. <sighs> oh. I the whole time. Uh, did you watch, uh, the Zack Snyder's Justice League at all? Okay. But yeah. Monster Hunter in general is just you hunting big monsters and making cool armor out of them to fight bigger and tougher monsters to do the same thing. Huh. Okay. I can get behind that. <clears throat> Weird one to make a movie out of then. If that's all the premise is. I guess you could argue that all games are hard to make a game out of or a movie out of. Ooh. That was a little too much. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just, yeah, that'll be fine. We'll just start smearing that one in there a little bit too. Okay. Starting to kind of bleed through the crack a little bit. Monster Hunter Rise is a bit of a story, has a bit of a story to it. It's unique monsters that are centered around the feudal Japan theme. That's actually really cool. All right. I can get behind it. When does it come out? <clears throat> Does it have like a release date yet or no? Ooh. Oh, there's stuff on this one. I'm not wiping it off enough. Oh, 
all monster hunter games are multiplayer where you just group up with your buddies and hunt monsters together. Interesting. That's actually really cool. Alright. I'd be down for it, honestly. Uh, let me know when it comes out. I'll probably get it. Alright. So I just finished the heavy scratch remover. Ooh. So now we'll go on to... Ooh. We'll go on to... Uh, the fine scratch remover. And we'll do it. We literally just do the same process. There's a demo for the game you can play free. And the game comes out this Friday. God damn it. All right. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get it that soon. Only because bills. But, uh, I'll definitely, prob I'll probably get it, honestly. It sounds cool. Uh, what's it coming out on? If it's coming out on the PS5, I can't play it, Edgar. <laughs> okay. Monster Hunter has really great looking armor too. My favorite one. My favorite is one you should look up. It's called the Xenogri armor. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but I'll check it out. <clears throat> Monster Hunter Rise is for the Switch. Ooh. Okay. Alright. I'll look into it. I can't guarantee I can get it this Friday when it comes out, but I'll definitely look into it. And if I, uh, when I get it, I'll hit you up and we'll play. And you can show me the ropes. All right. Older but still good Monster Hunter game is Monster Hunter World that's on the PS4. Okay. Oh yeah. That's good. And then kind of get all of the D20. This really isn't probably necessary to be quite honest, but I don't know. My dice. I play them how I want. I think it helps. I think it helps because, like, <clears throat> Realistically, like using just the zona paper and the and water. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
uh, using just zona paper and water, like once it like dries up. Sweet, I'd love to play games with you again, Rob. Yeah, for sure, man. Like I said, dude, I I don't make time for a lot of stuff. I really don't. I literally, I come home, and like I'll be like, oh, dude, I can't wait to get home. I'll work on this, and then it never happens. Just because I'm tired, you know. But yeah, man. I think that'll be cool. I like the shades of blues you chose for the dice. Yeah, dude. These dice came out so nice. Like, I just... I just like... I don't know. It just It's a nice, like, deep blue, I think. All right. Now we're going to be using the Plastic Clean and Shine. I just kind of spray. It's just... It's literally a spray, so it's spray and rub in. Helps give that shine back a little bit. I'm actually going to use a different rag, I think. Boom! And this rag is clean. Ooh. Gave it a real, gave it a real neat look. Uh, you should see all the other dice I made, Edgar. This one's like my first like good set, but the the last set I made <clears throat> right before this one is actually probably my like. Depending on how this looks once I get all the like when I once I ink it here in a minute, but um. The the last set I made is probably like, my second favorite, if not my favorite. Um, it was a. It was a green, a very like light tealish green, and some like pearl powder I had, <clears throat> and it gave it a real jade look to it, and it just it, that one those look really nice. I'm like oh, like I can't, I can't. And they have like a gold ink to it. I inked them in gold. I'll probably ink these in gold too, to be quite honest. Just because I think it'll go good with the the blue. Couple sprays. And then, oh, I missed the whole time. I'm almost out of this stuff, though. The, 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 like, the actual, like, the three part, because that's part of a set. Um, the plastics is kind of by itself. But, um, <clears throat> I'm almost out of that, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I don't know. I don't, I, I think I took this from my dad. <laughs> but, uh, so I don't know where he got it. And it's old, so make them anymore but once once these run out uh the the, the three-part stuff i'll probably just go to using the plastics and just call that good because realistically like i said a lot of it like honestly the spray and the plastics is probably fine um in and of itself i just uh it's overkill just use everything else in my opinion okay cool all right, and then finally, we'll just use the plastics, and then we're going to start inking them. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Well, let's knock it out. Move it over and 
smeared around more. Okay. So let's see. Let's get started. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop. Okay. Ooh. This isn't a bad cloth, but it's definitely like not as thick as what I was using. I have another cloth, like a cloth cloth. So we're gonna just we're just using all my cloth. <laughs> but we're just gonna go ahead and place that down. We're gonna do our best. I'm gonna kind of tilt this up a little bit right here. That way I can kind of do it comfortably and it's in view. Really get that on there. Where can I see those green? Uh, where can I see those green dice? Uh, I'll show you, man. Let me um, once I'm done, kind of doing this. I'll I'll pull them out real quick. I have them right here. I just want to get this polishing done. But they're, they're cool. Like I said, dude, they came out. Um, <clears throat> they kind of came out almost teal because of the pearl powder, I think. But uh, they look they look nice. They look really nice, dude. Ooh. Okay. Uh, you. Uh, I don't know if I put them on Instagram actually. Now I think about it, I might not have. Because it wasn't a full set, so actually, yeah. Because <clears throat> I was just playing around because uh, I was in the middle of making some molds. So I just threw some resin together and uh, threw them in so what I had. So it's not a full set. So I don't think I posted them anywhere. But I'll have to, I have them here with me. And so I'll show you here in just a second. Have you caught up on the super mega cast? Uh, I'm almost. I the episode I'm on is from the beginning of this month, so I'm like almost caught up. Um, uh, I think the episode I'm on is uh, "What Lurks Below?" Question mark. So I'm pretty pretty like. Up to date, I'm just a couple episodes behind. I'm like, I think maybe two or three behind. So, uh, are you caught up on it or nah?
Let's see. Uh, let me show you those dice real quick. So these are all the dice that I've made, but these are the ones that are like kind of look like jade. I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but they're like nice and shiny. You really like the new one? The new, the new episode of Super Megacast? No spoilers. So yeah, this is the this is the last like set I made. Um, it's not a full set, but I do I love the way these turned out. Honestly, like I couldn't be happier with how that came out. I kind of I might honestly just make a whole new set just to um, actually have a full set. So we'll see. Who cleared the history is a really good episode too. Yeah, yeah it is. <clears throat> it's just a good time. Oh wow, I really like those dice. Thank you. Honestly, dude, I've been wor I've been working so hard on this. <laughs> it's not even funny. I'm just kind of clearing up the the little goop still in there. Some of these. I'm not gonna do that. That's boring. That's boring. All right. Now, what's literally left to do is to ink these bad boys up. For that, I'm using Citadel. Uh, what is that? Retributor armor. I might have might have butchered that. And I think the gold on this blue is gonna give it a really nice look. I'm really hoping. So what I'm gonna do is I'll take this, set that up. All right, let's let's finish these dice. Let me rearrange this real quick, guys. All I'm going to do is literally take it, smear it right on in there, and then wipe it. I'll do that for all the numbers. Yeah, I kind of do like that gold. That does look that looks really good actually. So I'll just kinda of pat 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 that right on in. Wipe it away. Let's move to the next side. We'll dampen it a little bit more. Next side. first die done I will admit I kind of thought it would be a little bit more golden it kind of gives it but it kind of gives it an orange look and you know what I kind of like that better because orange and blue are very contrasting colors so it kind of pops off a little bit so realistically this probably would have looked um, <clears throat> really good in like white but I think I think this works just just fine
Oh, yeah, I did watch the Snyder Cut. It was really good. Yeah, man, I thought it was really good, too. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't really feel like it's a four-hour movie. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can, like, tell it's long, but, like, it's, uh, it's not, like, unbearably long. Or it doesn't feel unbearably long. Kind of flow, it flows like really well, I think. And then let's see, we'll wipe this. Ooh, shoo. That looks really good. We'll clean it up in a second. <coughs> mm. My throat's getting dry. Yeah, I know what you mean. I was pretty invested in the movie, and it never feels like it drags. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people say that they they love it a lot. Like they prefer it, like the way it is now, the the Snyder cut. But they a lot of people say like, well, it probably could have been like thirty minutes shorter, and like, I mean, I guess, dude. But like, I feel like they really kind of like took the time to like flesh out a lot of the characters more and like better. So. I appreciate it for what it is. Yeah, I don't mind the length at all. The moment it doesn't feel like there's any shots are that at the moment there doesn't feel like there there's any shots that aren't important. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty accurate. Okay. And the only downer about this cut is that there won't be any sequels to it. I hope there are because it's actually good. I didn't like. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess I liked the uh, the original one, but this one's like far better. You know what I mean? So I hope Warner Brothers. Uh, goes on and makes more of like these specific ones but we all know well I don't know about I, I don't want to speak for anyone but uh, Warner Brothers doesn't make the best choices nowadays in my opinion on certain things so
I'm getting paint all over my hands. Let's see if that works. Ooh, that didn't turn out too bad actually at all. Thinking about the dice is so messy, but I love seeing the <clears throat> I love seeing the finished product. Although looking at this, I do kind of wish I might have gone with the uh, just white, but. about it. <clears throat> yeah, they're pretty confident they're not going to make any more that I've, that they've already said was supposed to happen in the other two Justice League movies. Lame. Super lame. I guess that's their choice. I'm absolutely smudging the dice, but I'll clean it up. It's not a hard cleanup, honestly. Change that out just because I don't want to get it in my new shirt. <clears throat> okay. dice up good <clears throat> if I am smudging everywhere
All right, last die. <clears throat> pretty quick I think because I really like the tweaked version of the Joker they made for the cut yeah dude I I really do too I like Jared Leto's Joker <clears throat> that might be an unpopular opinion um, but I think he does like in Suicide Squad I think that was, was kind of like a interesting take on it um, I'm not saying it's perfect, but like, I don't think it's horrible. Um, I liked it, so I was pretty happy that they kind of like pulled him, they brought him back to do it, even though it was like one scene. Um, I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. It's definitely one you could take seriously. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. Let's see. Just about there. And I think that's the last number. Right here. I did smudge the fuck out of these dice. When that's done, I'll do that. Just throw that in there. Throat's dry. I didn't bring more. I didn't bring any more water. Ain't gonna do. Okay. Well, let me see if I can clean up my hand a little bit. Ooh. A little hand sanitizer. I modded my switch the other day. Now oh, that's a cut. What? What? Uh? What'd you do to it? Well, like what mods? I didn't know you could mod a switch. To be honest. Sorry, I'm just trying to get all the uh, paint off my hand real quick for this next part. This is literally the last part, guys. <coughs> okay, cool. Okay, so... All the dice are now inked. Um, so 
now what we'll, I just have to do is I'll go through and I'll take some rubbing alcohol and I'll literally just kind of clean up all the spare paint where I can. I was able to mod the whole system and now I'm able to mod and download any game I want. Jesus. You're nutty, buddy. That's cool, though, man. What games have you downloaded? That one good. bit more of this <clears throat> yeah so literally, literally right now all I'm doing is I am just kind of going through and getting up any excess paint that I can I'm on it smash and it's pretty fun I added Kingdom Hearts music to it Jesus that actually sounds pretty cool I have yet to get uh, Melodies of Memory. Again, just because I haven't made the time. Nor do I really have the money for it. But uh, once again, I'll get it at some point in my life. One side of die. That one's done. Ooh, this one's messy. We're gonna need a we're gonna need a clean side for this. Take this 
squirrel at? So you basically jailbroke your i uh not your iPhone you uh jailbroke your uh Switch, dude. That's looking good. There's so much of the time they did surgery on a grape. <laughs> Thank you. That's that was the goal. God damn it, we really did do surgery on a grape. <laughs> I forgot that. Okay, that one looks good. <sighs> and last but not least, guys, we just gotta clean up the D20. 
Let's just knock it out. I'm playing through Dragon Quest 11 S on my Switch again, so I can't, so I can play it again. Last year I got the platinum on the original game for PS4. Nice, dude. Good shit. some of the numbers. Check out some of the numbers on that one. Playing through, I'm playing, playing it with all those added difficulty options, and it's a real challenge. But I'm genuinely enjoying every minute of it. That's awesome, man. It's always good when you can enjoy, it, like when you can, like honestly enjoy something. <clears throat> it really has been a minute since I've like played a game that I am like 100% um, like invested in. I don't know. Uh, I mean, like. I just gotta go through and fix like some of these, because I accidentally got rid of some of the number numbering. Cause like, I don't know. It's hard for me to like get invested into a game, you know. Like I have to really um, kind of be enjoying it, I guess. Do it. Oh, I'll clean up a little bit more later on, like tomorrow or something. But here they are, guys. My full set of dice. All polished and inked up, cleaned up a little bit. I gotta be honest, I love them. I love how they came out. A 19, that's pretty good. I mean, obviously there are a couple things like I could do better, but like, genuinely speaking, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with how these came out. 
Um, I'm gonna let these dry, and then probably tomorrow I'll clean them up a little bit better and uh, take like final pictures. But I do have this cool box that I can put them in for right now. Just keep them in there. Some tre some real treasures. They look amazing. They do, dude. Thank you so much. They uh. There we go. They kind of reminded me of sapphires before I uh, went and did it, like before they were painted. But um, <clears throat> these, these, uh, yeah, I, I think these came out really well. I'm pretty happy with them. Um, and they roll pretty well, like I. Ten, nine, a one. <laughs> this is bad rolls. Horrible. <sighs> a twenty. That's a twenty, guys. I swear. You can't see it. <laughs> twenty. <laughs> um. That's awesome. Uh, let me see. But anyway, guys, um, anyway, guys, um, thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. I know this was a pretty long one, um, but I do appreciate everyone that like came by, stopped by for a couple minutes, and then like dipped. Like that's cool. Um, everyone that like came and stuck through. Um, through the end of this, like that was really cool. And honestly, like I said, guys, I'm trying to make sure these are in shot. <laughs> this is a really cool die set. And I couldn't be happier with these. Um, I probably would have done the white instead. But I do think, I like, I, I think it looks cool. I think regardless, it looks cool. If I really wanted to, I could fix it. I probably won't. But, uh, yeah, guys. Um, like I said, I am... Uh, I, I, I am selling sets, you know, if anyone's interested, if they play or if they want to play or if they just think they're cool, like I do plan on selling sets. Um, so if anyone's interested, just, you know, um, message me on Instagram and we can definitely work on it. I can do other colors. I, they don't have to be blue, obviously. I can do an assortment of colors, but uh, yeah, guys, I, I, again, Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Um, I had a lot of fun. I know I was really quiet during some parts. Um, I was just concentrating. Honestly. But uh, with that being said, guys, I'm going to head out. Hope everyone had a great a great time. Hope everyone has a great night. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.